These are the brand new Form Swim Goggles 2, and I got early access to test them out. Some of the world's best swimmers and triathletes like Lionel Sanders, Christian Blumenfeld, and Sky Moench use these goggles. And as a swimmer growing up, I wish I had these. But what is new? First, let's unbox it and see what comes inside. All right, it's gonna come inside of this box right here. Pretty simple, standard basic box on the back. Give you instructions of what it's gonna look like when you look through the lens, see through display. And this new one has an integrated heart rate monitor, form, swim goggles here, as well as the simple packaging on the bottom. Open this bad boy up. And inside we're gonna get some really boring stuff, which says you should read this, but let's be honest, I never read it. We have the actual instructions on how to get started. You need to download the app on either App Store um, and then make sure that these straps fit and pairing your goggles. So that's a big piece. There's different nose bridge sizes and make sure that the head straps are on properly. Inside of this box, we have the form case. Very nice high quality case. It's actually bigger than the original one. It's more flat. Uh, it's definitely wider. Nice zipper. By the way, this is a recyclable box. So that's really nice and appreciated. It's got the form logo right here. Open this bad boy up and inside, oh, inside we have a charging cable. I was really hoping they'd switch this to the USB-C, but it's still USB-A. That's really disappointing. Um, but they have their own proprietary magnetic charger. It's going to go onto the side of the goggles. So if you look right here, this is the side of the goggles. And this will, boom, magnetize right there. Can we get a USB-C cable, please? Come on, we're, this is 2024 form. What are we doing? No, that was my complaint when I got the original form as well, which is really funny. That was four, four freaking years ago. Um, inside, we have the goggles. They kind of wrap around this base piece here. You pull it out. This styrofoam, I think, can be removed. You don't really need it. But now you have a case that's breathable. It's really good to allow the goggles to dry. When you store them, highly recommend keeping the case. Um, the goggles, as you can see here, it's got the reflective displays. Just don't touch the inside lenses because it's gonna ruin the anti-fog and all that type of stuff. You need the form app. And then on this side is where the computer is and the screen is displayed right here. So that's how you can tell. That's why that side is different than this other side. There you go. I love the new yellow accent. It looks really nice with the casing. If you wanna swap out the nose bridges, they have multiple nose bridge sizes. I missed this, they're on the bottom of this box right here, so don't be careful not to throw those away, but you're going to have your small to extra large. I think I'm going to need extra large. Pull this bad boy out. There we go. The medium is already on there, so I'm going to try to put this on. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Actually, let's rip off the plastic. Oh yeah. Satisfying. You've got the form logo there in bright yellow. I'll just see if this fits on my nose. Actually, I think it might. Um... I think my eyes are a little wide, so let's go large. Nose bridges. So you just gotta pull firmly on the goggles to remove. I feel kind of scared, I'm gonna break this. Oh, not bad. They fit better. You can still see my eyes through the reflection. That's kind of how they look. The screen is here. You can see through the goggles, but there's gonna be like an AR type screen in the goggles. It's all sticky together, ew. Oh yeah. I think it works, right? There we go. Let's go swimming. All right, so now we are at the pool and at, they actually gave me a swim cap here. So we're gonna wear the swim cap. We got the goggles ready to go. And we're gonna test this out in the pool here. All right, let's turn the goggles on. Pop them out of the case. We got the screen. We're gonna pick pool. Sinking with my phone. Free swim, 25 yards. Heart rate test, check heart rate placement, it says. Make sure the straps are separated. Here's a mess. We're gonna put on the cap. It's a nice cap. It's a little tight. Press the front to continue. Press front to start. To switch dashboard, press rear. Okay, so now we're in swimming mode. And let's go swim. All right, I feel like a cyborg. Cause I can see, literally right here, I can see uh, it says resume swim. I'm gonna tap this and resume. I've got my watches as well just in case I think the Apple watch is better at tracking swim stuff than the Garmin. So let's try this out and see what happens Start here Start here Start here. Okay, the timer has started. It thinks I'm on a turn heart rate 113 Actually the Apple watch doesn't show my heart rate and neither does the Garmin actually oh Yeah, 78 here 
87. We're getting closer. Oh, they're like seven beats off maybe. But I'm guessing getting your heart rate from up here is more accurate. Just gotta make sure that there's no hair in the way. Good luck. There we go. All right, I can see my splits. 35, 36, heart rate 118. 102 on the Garmin. 112 pace for every 100. Heart rate 140 on the Garmin. 128 on the form. Apple Watch doesn't tell me. I'm still out of shape. We're still here. So. How do they look? Cool, cool. I'm done, I'll pause these, finish the workout. A little bit of hot tub. So there's like drills you can do, workouts you can do. Oh, how am I, am I still out of breath? It's not sinking, it shows sinking. It's a little bright today. Uh, the sun's shining straight into my eyes, so it's a bit too dim when I look at the screen, but I can see it and I can see through it. It's like this AR, augmented reality goggles. There's a running version of this, that'd be really, really nice. So, it's really cool because you can track your strokes, your swimming distances, paces, and get live feedback right on the screen here. The old one, you had to have the polar heart rate monitor or a secondary heart rate monitor, and now you don't. And then I can press and hold this, turn it off. Powering down, I'm gonna rinse it with water. This is some freaking cool technology. I wish I had this when I was swimming growing up. Could have gotten a ton of data. How do my eyes look? Uh, do I have goggle eyes? Wow. Let's get into the details of what makes it new. The first thing is their integrated heart rate monitor. You do wanna make sure that you, when you wear it, that your cap is actually over it and you're not covering the heart rate monitor itself. But now you're gonna get live heart rate data built right into the goggles so you don't have to worry about charging a second piece of equipment or even bringing a second heart rate monitor. And now you can do heart rate zone training in the water and not have to worry about it. Next is the new swim straight feature. So fun fact, I'm actually scared of the ocean. But if you're doing open water swimming like for a triathlon, this is gonna help guide you to make sure, hey, are you swimming straight or are you going in the wrong direction? It's just gonna make you more efficient and help improve your time because if you're swimming like in a zigzag, you're gonna be going a lot slower than if you swam in a straight line. Because these goggles have a heads up display inside of them, so when you put them on, there's a little screen where I can see like my time, heart rate, and a whole bunch of other factors. Next is the size. So these goggles are actually 15% smaller than the original version, and you can definitely feel it. Like, already a massive like piece like sticking out of the side, but now that it's smaller, it's less out of the way. They They've upgraded the fit and comfort, so it just fits more shapes and sizes. Now, how much does the Form Smart Swim 2 cost? They will be $249, and there will be a link down below. They're available now. There is also a Form Premium, where it is subscription-based, and they'll give you workouts, training plans, and you can actually import those workouts straight into your goggles, so it can guide you as you're swimming to what workout you need to do, the times you need to hit, and it makes it effortless to so just show up at the pool, press go, and start swimming. There will be a free trial, and then it is $15 a month after that. As a swimmer growing up, one of the things we had to do was look at the clock, do some calculations with form smart swim goggles, is that it'll actually give me the time of how long my splits were. Each time I touch the wall, it calculates the exact time. Super helpful to have a constant feed of how I'm swimming, what my times are. It keeps me in check, and it helps keep me motivated. Form is also probably the biggest smart goggle brand out there, and I think they have the most amount of data, thus allowing them to have the best calculations when it comes to what stroke are you doing, calculating the times when you finish on the wall. So in my opinion, I think they have some of the best hardware and software out there. Since you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to see future videos. My name is Sherman Shares. Follow me on all the socials. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.